Now, I know it sounds stupid, but there is a difference between influencing somebody and persuading them. And if you are going to be successful in sales, you need to know the difference. Many marketers and salespeople conflate influence with persuasion. Influence is about having a contributory effect upon the thinking and actions of others without the apparent use of force. Got that? When you influence, you don't use force. Instead, you contribute to the thinking that goes into the decision-making process. In the simplest terms, influence happens when you align to the agenda of the person that you are attempting to influence. Now, more about exactly how that works in a moment. Persuasion, on the other hand, is about coercion. It's exerting pressure to get someone to do what you want them to do. It's a blunt instrument of last resort that salespeople use when they don't understand how to influence customer choice. Let's unpack that, starting with choice. Let's say that you're reaching out to somebody in a cold email or in a direct message on LinkedIn. Now, what you want them to do is quite simple, just engage with you. Now, what they want to do is get the hell away from you. So that is why we need to persuade them to listen to you, right? However, when you persuade, the other person tends to see you as trying to remove their desire to choose to not engage with you. So persuasion is not contributing to their decision-making process whatsoever. In fact, it attempts to hijack it. So as G says, it's about pushing somebody to do what you want them to do. So instead, what you want to do is influence customer choice. And that, my friends, is what influence is all about. The best salespeople are not trying to persuade someone to come to their point of view. They're giving customers relevant information affecting the purchasing decision based upon what they understand to be the most important considerations for the buyer. 100%. However, although I think G is 100% spot on here, he says that influence is about giving customers relevant information that affects their purchase decision. Now that sounds a lot like content marketing. Ebooks, white papers, webinars, all containing relevant information to affect a purchase decision. There is a bit of a catch here. I want you to be careful because the customer needs to actually ask for this information. Otherwise, you are still persuading. You are still pushing content at people. So for example, let's say you're on LinkedIn and you accept a connection request. Now what happens next is pretty predictable. The other person immediately pushes their free ebook or webinar at you. They try to persuade, they push. You don't wanna be that jackass. So instead, you will do what most people don't do. Instead, you should align to the priority of the other person. And this is gonna help pull them. Quick example, I'm often told, Jeff, the problem that I have with customers is there is never an incentive for them to change. Okay, I totally accept that reality. When sellers email or they call you, you resist change, me too we all tend to resist change. However, you can create an incentive to change when you align to the other person's existing priority. So for example, let's say that you're selling software and the reason that someone would invest in this software is because they need to automate a manual process. They could basically cut a ton of costs by automating. Now the problem is they don't feel an urgent need to cut those costs. Cost cutting is not a strong enough reason to make change. What if automating manual processes, or perhaps let's say outsourcing, will fast track the CEO's agenda? See how that works? I'm talking about tying what you sell to the pre-existing agenda of that decision maker. Now in this situation, there is already hunger for your webinar or your white paper or your checklist or your short explainer video, whatever it is. In fact, there may even be hunger for you to present a business case for the solution that you sell. How could that be? Because what you sell is one piece of the puzzle needed to get the priority project done. So whatever you sell, Influence happens when you align your message to the existing priority of the other person. 
or when you align to the priority of the other person's boss. So in other words, let's say that in order to close a deal, you need the sign off of your contact's boss, their superior. So once again, align to the priority. But this time, your job is to help the decision influencer align themselves to the boss's priority project. Just like my son wanting to get his driver's license right away, he might come to me and say, Dad, I can drive myself on Friday nights. You don't have to anymore. And you and mom will have more time together. Bingo. The boy just helped me align to my partner's priority, spending more time together. So as G says, persuasion is about pushing somebody to do what you want them to do. So instead, you're going to get more conversations started and more deals closed by influencing. You've got to earn their ask to begin that process. And that starts with getting them a little bit curious. And that is what this channel is all about. Ways to get people curious so they begin that process of basically convincing themselves to take an action. What's preventing you from aligning your solution to the decision maker's priority? I want you to give this some thought and leave a comment below. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Jeff Molander and I study how the most successful persuaders don't persuade at all. So if you're open to changing the way that you think about persuasion, social selling and sales outreach on LinkedIn, you should consider subscribing. I really appreciate you giving me a thumbs up if you got value from this video and see you next time guys. All the best.